Hello to my Virgos. This is Queen Amunra coming to you with your general reading, Virgos. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Virgos, we are coming up on the last... We're in the last quarter moon. We're in a uh, waning crescent moon phase. Waning, waxing crescent moon phase. We're at the end. We're at the end of a cycle, right? It ends on the 9th of March. And then we start a new new phase within a new cycle. We start, it kicks off a new moon in Pisces. So I'm going to give you a question for the moon in Pisces. If you, haven't, if you don't have your digital journal and your digital calendar, the links are below. Um, both of them together are $5. It's optional. You can create your own if you want. There's never any pressure to purchase anything, but you have it all right there. You can di you can download it on your cell phone and journal, you know, because right now, as we get closer and closer to this, um, the new moon in Pisces, there's this overwhelming pull, you know, to pull you back into a state of confusion and chaos. So let me help try to clear that up. Let me try to help you with that. The energy has already been cleared. Energy has already been cleared. And um, and so here we go. Somebody has an angel on one shoulder and a devil on another shoulder as it relates to fear, doubt, uncertainty, right? You know, like the Flintstones. Remember uh, Fred Flintstone had an angel on one shoulder and a devil on another? <laughs> For those of you who remember that. Here we have the King of Swords. You have a lot of wisdom and you have a lot of knowledge, right? But something is causing somebody a nightmare, right? Just overthinking something. It's two types of situations that somebody may have getting, given power to. The source is saying it's time for you to stop overthinking it and get away from it and stop talking about it. Journal it. Get out of your head, right? Get out of your head. Get some fresh air. Get some fresh air because a lot of ideas are going to come to you when you get out the house, get some fresh air. Take a drive because Source is trying to send the creative ideas across your path that's going to increase your money. So remember, as we move through these phases and cycles, Source is like, I'm trying to send some more ideas. You're incredibly smart, obviously. But Source is also saying, hey, look, <laughs> I'm trying to create your, I'm trying to create, I'm trying to get you to create room for, I need you to start expanding. Like I need you to start dreaming bigger, thinking bigger, right? So on a, on a larger scale, because somebody is that the nine of swords, maybe something was a complete nightmare, fear, doubt on the fence about something. I'm not really sure. I'm trying to meticulously look at something. What is going on? What am I holding on to? Right? So when we talk about the heart chakra, right, as you starting to try to clean off some things, right? So heart chakra is always looking at to accept and equalize and the commonalities and connections, right? So any kind of pink or green stone is going to help somebody with that. And some of the pink and green stones could be emerald, rose, quartz, jade, pink tourmaline, malachite, moldavite. Some of the essential oils that you all can use as you're trying to wind down as eucalyptus, like when you're taking a salt bath. Uh, you know, it could put eucalyptus oil or something in there, uh, rosemary, tea tree, thyme, cypress, ginger. It's going to speed up things for you. Speed up this, this overthinking of something, right? Because again, source is trying to connect you with energies that's going to help you to, to um, increase your wealth. And so you're going to have to get away from energies that source has been trying to tell somebody, take your power back. You're going to be rewarded for taking the high road. So when we're talking about King of Swords energy, there can't be any shade or anything about what you're leaving behind. There can't be any, because like I said, it's, there's a, a heavy temptation. A devil is tempting you to say something negative. They're a nightmare. I don't believe this. I don't, something could, something, like anything negative. So it's just saying, cut it off. Cut the conversation short. <laughs> Get out and get some fresh air. Go running, do something, right? But get away from negative conversations about some, some things, right? Get away from it fast. And nine of cups. So yeah, somebody's going to feel like they hit the jackpot when you get out and get some fresh air and operate in childlike faith moving forward, not going backwards. So it's two types of energies in particular. So it needs you to move on from that has been a nightmare for you. But it doesn't have to be a nightmare. So it's just saying stay away from them fast, right? Here we have the judgment card. Stay away from them fast. You're trying to break cycles, chains, and curses. And um, 
stay away from because because getting some fresh air is going to let you know who's breaking cycles, chains, and curses, and that they're not harshly judging you. But it'll also show you who is harshly judging you, right? But if you're just kind of sort of staying here, having all these nightmares about something, nervous and scared, and you know you haven't taken all this information and put it down on paper so you can look at your own notes from the inside, right? It is going to be kind of hard for you to see it. So put a manhole cover over the past because some memories from the past are coming up for somebody like, you know, just some memories of just like, just kind of being judged, being harshly judged. And sources say you definitely have, you know, loved ones that's helping you. Here we have the Hierophant card, but somebody has a little stubborn streak. Somebody's just like, you know what? Maybe I'm waiting for somebody to say something that's going to cut deeper for me to just move on. Maybe I'm waiting for somebody to hurt me, you know, worse for me to maybe I'm waiting for somebody to cuss me out for me to move on so it's just like no nah. learn how to recognize that you're you're um, breaking um, generational curses chains and cycles family generational cycles chains and curses and um, that's what I'm seeing so far Let's see what else we got going on here. More money is trying to come in. That's what I'm trying to tell somebody. It's like, so it's like, get outside, get some fresh air. I'm trying to give you some ideas that's going to see if somebody is kind of sort of stuck in like family situations and, and so it's like, I'm trying to add more money to your pocket, but you care about how you're adding money to your pocket because of what your family is saying. So it's just like, you can take a little bit from this side, a little bit from that side. What works for you on the mom side, dad side? What works best for you is going to work best for you. You're creating your own legacy, whatever that looks like. And so, um, yeah, like I said, somebody somebody is kind of like at a crossroad and something. Third eye is open, though. Third eye. So it's just definitely in the light about some things. You're definitely in the light about some things. So do what works best for you, Virgos. Do what, be what works best for you. The source is saying, get get away from other people's harsh judgment of other people. You know, they just kind of stuck on something, whatever it is, stuck on their religious beliefs, whatever they stuck on. Source is saying, get away from those energies because they will mess up your money, but they will be the first ones to come around with their hands stuck out asking for money. So you got to do what works best for you because somebody desires this, somebody desires marriage and somebody also desires to be in a uh, relationship where you feel nurtured, protected, and secure, and also financial independence. So when I look at your cards here, you and somebody coming together, like I said, may have looked for other people's approval, and that's that's the problem. You're looking for family's approval, and sources saying to you, they're looking to you to stand firm on something, <laughs> So you looking for their approval to like something or not like something and give you the green light or the thumbs up. Family could be friendship families. It could be blood relatives or not blood relatives. Whoever, somebody's looking for some kind of somebody's approval. And sources saying to you, um, are you robbing yourself of legacy with somebody because you're looking for your blood relatives? Are you, you trying to create your own legacy? So here we have the two of wands. I definitely feel like... Um, Somebody's going to be booked and busy and not burdened. You know, like I feel like uh, your third eye is open. Like get some fresh air, get some fresh air, pray your way through it. We're at the last, we're in the um, last couple of days before this cycle close out and definitely see somebody moving forward. So moving towards your happiness, it doesn't have to be a nightmare. Something definitely does not have to be a nightmare. You don't have to take other people's energy wherever you're going. Yeah. I feel like somebody was in your life a long time ago, somebody who really, really, you know, either have a crush on you or really like you in that way, you know, in a romantic way. Like they almost feel like, okay, they want to, they, they see themselves, they saw themselves with you. And it's kind of like in their mind, they stuck on you, Virgo. Again, I'm talking to you wherever Virgo is in your birth chart. They really stuck on you and they feel like, okay, they, they, they're a person who looks for other people's approval. And, um... Which would almost be, hmm. here we have the Ace of Wands, right? Somebody's definitely trying to come in through your through your dreams. It's like, oh God, <laughs> oh my God, right? So here we have the Seven of Pentacles here. So um, I definitely see it's harvest time for you. 
Three of Swords right here. So the more and more you move away from the depth of disappointment, you've already been hurt, you know, so many times. It looks like in the past, three and seven is 10, obviously. But there's two types of energies that Source needs you to move on from. And those energies have caused you, they cut you so deep with their words. It felt like now, because you're still connected to those energies, people got to walk on eggshells, you know, around you because they don't know what to say that's going to be offensive and it seems like they're coming across as judging you, right? So Source needs you to get away again from those types of energies, stay focused, and get crystal clear about what legacy you are creating for you because those energies like to play bait and switch, the old bait and switch, right? So we have two and five is seven and this is eight. Source is saying, when Source sends people across your path to help you to get away from those types of energies fast... You know, it's because they've been through the same thing. They understand and they are definitely just kind of showing you that if you stand firm on your values and how you're creating your legacy, it's going to make sense. You know, people are like, oh, OK, you know, you actually inspire more people in your family to kind of create their own legacy. It's not one cookie cutter way of creating legacy. You know, it's however you want to create your own. So you're taking you're taking the good from both sides, you know, of your family and saying, OK, I can work with this, 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 that and the other. But it, it would almost be like saying we only celebrate dinner at this one person's house and we got to keep celebrating dinner at this one person's house until they die. It's almost like a person this thing say, OK, well, what about having dinner at somebody else? Can we switch it up? You put so much pressure on people to kind of like, okay, well, this is like, okay, this, this box stand, this one cookie cutter way of doing something when you're trying to create your own legacy. So somebody is trying to create their own legacy. And so I don't know what that looks like. Love spell. 21, let the honey of your soul swell in the depths of love. Put a love spell on yourself. I love me so much. That whatever legacy I want to create for myself, whoever's going to be there to support the legacy I want to create for myself. Because somebody wants to get married. Somebody wants to be married in business and or in love. But somebody's afraid of being harshly judged. So sources say, put your foot down. The queen. So, yeah. So, whatever, um, whatever, um... You are the queen energy is really just as somebody who is down to earth, quite re relatable. And um, so source is saying adjust your crown, adjust your crown and tap into this courage. Let me be open to courageously take the steps that are shown. Yeah, be open. You're creating your own legacy, whatever that looks like. Your family's just going to have to get it together. They're going to have to pull it together, you know, and um here are the questions for the moon in uh, Pisces. Pisces is a water sign. It's ruled by two planets, Jupiter, which is the planet of good luck and good fortune. And it's also ruled by uh, Jupiter and Neptune, right? So you desire a blissful life, but I feel like somebody is, um, somebody is going into a form of escapism. So you can choose a blissful life by standing firm on your own values and how you want to create your own legacy or you can go into escapism, kind of just check out. So sort of saying, get some fresh air. That looks like, that can look like a vacation. It can look like a whole lot of things. But the moon in Pisces in particular. Moon in Pisces can call, it calls everybody, just not you Virgos. But it causes everybody to feel, it just brings a ways of emotion. So the days for when the moon moving into Pisces is are sensitive, both physically and mentally. Um, you're ending your moon journey. Meaning that the moon first starts out in Aries all the way down to back around to Pisces. And so when you're saying, okay, I feel overwhelmed and I'm trying so hard to spring forward, get some fresh air. You can think for yourself. That's how you made it to the king of um, king of swords, right? First question for the moon in Pisces. Could you keep opening up and breaking through the walls of protection and defense to heal your deepest wounds with love? The second question is, could you immerse yourself in gentleness and compassion in order to receive and channel true love? The third question is, could you become more connected to the universal unconditional love? And fourth is, can you create healthy boundaries so that you don't take on others' energy? That's the, that's the whole point of it, creating very healthy boundaries so that you're not taking on, you know, your family's belief systems that's stressing you out to the highest of stress <laughs> 
The last but not least question is, do you clean and replenish your energy daily? And some of those things could look like a lot of things. It could look like juice fast. It could like drinking more water, water watsu, emotional release techniques, hip opening yoga poses, going to get a massage, get that lymphatic system together, and also juice fast. That also helps too, right? That also helps too. So here we go. Make room for a new blessing. The spy is now turned on. Somebody is spying on you. So they inspire, you inspire somebody to heal, right? That's what I'm talking about. You're inspiring people to heal. Step through your portal to the life that you prayed for. Somebody is around some very toxic masculine energy, toxic masculinity. Healed people move differently. Love yourself more. All right, so let's get to more of these. Here we go. They want to call you, but they haven't changed. And then also... You're a star in your own right. So um, it looks like some energies who looks like some energies that source is trying to tell you to stay away from some people that cut their words cut so deep and you're in such a sensitive space because source kept telling you leave those two types of energies behind. So people feel like they got to walk around eggshells. So people don't know what they said or what they don't know what they're saying, what they've done to, I mean... So, let's see. So, you will make the best decision for you. 999, I am unique. So, thank the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so that you can make the best of the life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. That's right. So, I mean, you could cut everybody off, for real, until you can really think about, you know, processing your thoughts, for real. I mean, the people who are supposed to be in your life will be there when you when you come up for air, speaking of air, and the ones that, you know, scattered, they, they'll be gone. So, it's up to you. It's, in, it's entirely up to you. And uh, definitely feel like somebody is definitely on this... Um, you know, I trust my inner voice. That's right. That's that voice from source from the inside. One last card and let's go ahead and close it out. One last card and let's close it out. Hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully um, you are pouring back into you. Affirmations for creativity. I'm a ball of creative energy. Creative ideas circulate my very being. I tap into all aspects of my imagination. I command my inventive skills to step forward. I connect it to my truest self. I am solution oriented. My gifts create room for me. I am grateful for my innate gifts. Yep. That is what I have for you. I will see you all in the next video. In the next video. That is what I have for you. And I do have another video going up on the Patreon side. So I'll see you all over on that side too. But hopefully this has been helpful for you, Virgos. And um, you will make the best decision for you. All right. Bye.